The other thing about this time of year is that with all the, the tassels out, it's the perfect time for a fungicide application. Uh, in west central Minnesota, we haven't always had the ability to get a return on investment on fungicides, but I think certain situations call for it more so. That being corn on corn is much more likely because you have more pathogens there. Anything that has a high yield potential, you're basically trying to protect a high yield potential. It's a, it's a numbers game. It's a percentage game. And when uh, the price of the commodity comes up, it also makes that return on investment a little bit easier. Uh, so if you're gonna do a fungicide application, now would be the time. It'd be in this VT to R1. I'd look at the disease score. It's really easy to look those up. We have them all available publicly. And anything that might be a little bit lower in northern leaf blight or perhaps uh, in gray leaf spot, you might indicate that's that's a target field that I'm going to go after. Uh, the other thing that you could be doing this time of year, if you if you take a look behind me, I, I dug up a, a root out there or a plant in its root ball. You, if you put a bucket of water there and soak that, you'll sometimes get larvae coming out of that soil. And those are uh, rootworm larvae that are feeding on the soil. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.